Oh my God, like chef's kiss, heaven sent. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. We are doing a massive favorites video. Massive. I have so many favorites right now. Over the last couple months, I feel like I've just developed a lot of things I'm obsessed with. I feel like just especially in this time in general, since we're at home a lot, we're finding a lot of things that we love in our day-to-day -day life. So without further ado, here is what I'm currently obsessed with. Of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. Okay, I'm gonna start off with things I have on my body because I've been wearing them like every day. So recently I got these little chubby hoop earrings. They're just like the perfect day-to-day -day earring. I just love the way they look. They're really simple. With my hair down, my hair doesn't get like entangled in them, which is always annoying. Um, and then I've been wearing this really beautiful heart necklace from Miranda Fry. It's actually my collab with them. Um, and this necklace is from them as well. This is like my favorite necklace combo right now. Um, and they have a ton of really cute, you know, great layerable necklaces. And they have a ton of different size options as well if you're also plus size. My discount code for their whole site is fearless. So feel free to shop especially I think this is perfect for around the Valentine's Day time that we're in right now but um, I'm just I love my necklace Alexandra charm and the Irene chain and then this is my bracelet stack that I do not take off so good and my Cartier bracelet this little beaded bracelet from Miranda Fry and then this one is from my mom but I found the same one on Amazon listen Amazon is a vibe for jewelry. I love nice quality jewelry. Miranda Fry is my spot for that. But sometimes I also just grab jewelry from Amazon. Let me show you. This is my jewelry. This is actually another favorite as well. So I got this from the container store. This, this the key right here. Dude, I freaking love this stackable jewelry organizer. You can add as many layers as you want. Oh. In a vlog, I like showed organizing with it and shopping for it. Um, and it's so good. Um, necklaces, rings, like it's so nicely organized and just layers on layers on layers and it keeps everything so nicely organized. So I have a couple Amazon favorite necklaces. This one, Cuban Lynx, is so stunning and the quality is actually really good. And if you have a plus size neck like your girl, do yourself a favor and search men's necklaces. It's just the reality and it works. Like this was in the men's section and it's so trendy. It's so cute. It looks so sleek. That's one of my favorites. And then also I got this one on Amazon. I think this was just in the women's section, but this paper clip style, they had a bunch of different lengths. So I'm gonna link these two. Oh my God. Plus size neck friendly, super trendy and cool. Um, and I'm also, I mean, I'm gonna link everything, but this stacker set here is just life-changing. And they have so many different styles for each layer, whatever kind of jewelry, even sunglasses organization. I'm just all about it right now. Okay, so those are my current jewelry favorites. Now let's get into fashion. The Skims long sleeve fits everybody or always fits. I think it fits everybody. The fabric on this, I can't even describe. I wear this shirt so much. I need to order other colors. They also have it in short sleeve. It's like a whole collection. So she has like body suits and all these things, but the long sleeve is just, oh, it's that same fabric for all of it. So whatever you get, you can't go wrong, but it's just so stretchy and like thin without being like sheer. It's just, oh, it's just the most comfortable fabric I can ever say. Size up though. Skims is kind of all, I love Skims, but Skims is kind of all over the place with their sizing. Like certain collections fit totally different than other collections. Some I have to size way up on, some I don't. But um, yeah, size up, one or two sizes. Okay, and then <laughs> this freaking Abercrombie sweater. I wear this so much and every time I link it on stories, you guys click the hell out of it. I'm saying you need this. It's the softest fabric. It's got this really cute, like you could either wear it off the shoulder or a V-neck vibe, but it's got like exposed hemlines. It's kind of like a cropped, like a long cropped fit where it's not like cropped, but it's not super long. It's the perfect, perfect length. Um, and I just can't get over the quality. 
Um, it's so funny because like I never expected to like buy anything from Abercrombie just because I've been plus size my whole life. I didn't really think anything would ever fit me from there, but they have expanded their sizing. Um, certain things go up to a 3X, which is uh, the size this one is in. It's got a nice oversized fit, but it's really cozy. Oh, I just love it. I hope it's still in stock. I'm gonna try to find it and like it. But I just wanna let you guys know that Abercrombie did expand their sizing. I don't know how long ago, but the quality is really good. I did a little haul of some other items, including shorts, like denim shorts, on my TikTok. So if you wanna check that out, it's on my TikTok. And then this shirt, I love this shirt. This shirt is from Shein. Um, I do roll the sleeves because they're like awkwardly oversized at the bottom without being a bell sleeve, but I love this shirt. It's so pretty. I featured it in a Valentine's Day lookbook um, and I just love it. It's super stretchy. It's super comfy. I love the collared v-neck look, but it's a sweater material, but it's like a thin sweater material. It's really, really comfortable on um, and I feel like you can kind of dress it up or down. It's just very sleek, very cute, very affordable. I just ugh, love it. And I did go ahead and cave and hop on this bandwagon. <laughs> They're just so cute. I got them on Amazon and everyone has them right now. I see them all over TikTok and I'm like, oh, screw it. I'm a trend follower and I love them. They're adorable. <laughs> so get yourself some, true to size. So next up is these Amazon leggings. Oh my God. These Amazon leggings are so good. The fabric reminds me so much of the Beyond Yoga fabric and they're so affordable. It's a two pack, super cheap. I have mine in a 2X. They're becoming a little loose on top, so I might order a 1X, but I can't get over how nice they are. They're opaque. They're just like the softest, butteriest fabric. They're not like a classic, like athletic material. They're just kind of like a buttery soft cotton. I don't know what the fabric is, but it, it just, it's soft, trust me. Also my clear Uggs. My clear Uggs, my mom got them for me for Christmas and I am completely and utterly in love with them. I wear them constantly. I am plus size, I have wide feet and I got my classic size 10 and they fit perfectly. Definitely plus size friendly, wide foot friendly and they are genuinely waterproof. Like I'm genuinely surprised. I wore them to the ice castles where it was just like, icy everywhere, slippery. They actually have pretty good traction. I've worn them out in the rain um, and they're super waterproof and they're so cute. You can like see the fur through the clear plastic. So um, I highly recommend those. They're so good. I probably have other favorites, but those are the ones that like really stood out to me as I was gonna film this. So let's get into some beauty products. First and foremost, I have been loving my Lange hair curler. This thing is amazing because it's a twofer. We love a twofer. You can use it either as a flat iron or you can use it to curl your hair. And it has a fan setting where you'll get airflow through all these little dots when you want to do a curl in your hair. It's how I throw in my waves. I've done plenty of tutorials in vlogs, but it is so easy. Like you take the hair and you just curl it and pull, you know, and I leave the bottom out so it stays like a more of a wave than a curl. And it's so good. It's so quick. And I love it if I ever need to just kind of fix the bottom where I want it straight. Um, or if I'm touching up when my hair is straight, a great all in one product. I love this trendy, beautiful, taupey color. Um, just an overall great product. I have been so dry my hands my feet my face like I have a lot of dry skin favorites ahead here and I have always been an oily bitch but since I had gastric bypass a few months ago and the combination of the winter my skin like the dryness is just completely unbearable get this I'm not going to show this on camera because it's freaking gross <laughs> like I use it all the time and it's like there's dead skin all over it I'm okay baby baby soft and then I put the Amope foot mask slipper on top of it. Oh my God, like chef's kiss, heaven sent, the softest your feet have ever been in their life. Like literally, ugh, it's just heaven on earth. So do that combination if you have dry feet right now. And then for dry hands, this is mine and my husband's favorite freaking lotion. We buy it on Amazon. 
And I mean, you can get it in the store as well. It's just easy to grab on Amazon. It's from L'Occitane. It's the best lotion for your hands. We use this for our hands. For my body, I've been using the one from Topicals. Oh, this is the lemon verbena scent. Um, and then we also have the lavender scent, which we've repurchased many times. But this lotion, I feel like it's just perfect on my hands, especially if I wanna throw on my silicone gloves after and just sit on, actually, let me grab those. I did bring them downstairs. These I bought at Francesca's, but they sell them like everywhere and on Amazon. They look like normal mittens or gloves, but inside it's silicone and it traps that moisture in, makes your hands so soft. And I love that it has the touchscreen capabilities on the fingers. So you can just sit, scroll on your phone, watch a show. This lotion plus these gloves equal repaired hands. Next up, we've got Honey Pot products. I am in love with Honey Pot products. They are so good. Um, they're very natural. I love that it's a black owned brand. I buy mine at Target. I also bought some from their website because not everything I wanted was in store. This is the refreshing panty spray. I love this if you just want to freshen up throughout the day. Um, this is the cucumber aloe scent. It's refreshing, it's light, it's not full of like chemicals, it's talc free, it neutralizes odor, cruelty free, refresh, restore, revive. We love to see it. I also have their feminine wash, their feminine wipes. Um, I bought their pads and it's really interesting. They're like cooling pads. They have like herbs infused in them because um, I have really bad cramps when I get my period and I genuinely feel like the pads help. It's got like a cooling bunch of herbs and good things in the pad that like over time kind of just like, you know, flow into your system and it feels, it actually feels really good and it just helped me feel better. So you guys recommended that to me. Thank you so much. I really like the product. So if you're looking for a great feminine care brand to check out, Honey Pot is where it's at. They have tampons and stuff too. A whole bunch of amazing products. I've tried most of them. In the shower, I recently got sent this brand in PR. It's called Salt Air. Um, Iskra is the founder. You probably know her as an airy model. And she came out with these serum body washes and they are fantastic. This one is probably my favorite, which is why I pulled this one. It's their Skin Brightening Exotic Pulp Serum Body Wash. It has passion fruit oil, Kamu Kamu, Ascrobol, Glucose, Glucoside, moisturize and brighten while niacinamide helps to improve the appearance of uneven skin tone. So I love niacinamide. It's a great product to even your skin tone and I usually use it on my face. So I love that it's in this body wash. Um, it's very moisturizing. I love this one in the morning because it's an orangey scent. It's just like invigorating, wake you up and it's just really good. I just, I like it. And they have ones with other skin concerns as well. Continuing on with a dry skin problem. My favorite dry skin face wash is the Tatcha Rice Wash. It's expensive, but you don't need a lot. And I find that with the most expensive products, they're usually expensive, not only because they have a lot of good stuff in it, but you don't need a lot. That's how I used to be with like high quality shampoo and conditioner. Like I would still use way too much and like a little bit, it's very concentrated, goes a long way. You can get a really good lather out of it. The same goes with this face wash. So really great if you're feeling dry it's not gonna irritate your skin if you're sensitive like me i'm just a big fan i really like it tatcha has great products next up the oil i have been using after i wash my face is this one from youth to the people the super berry hydrate and glow dream oil it's so hydrating but it doesn't leave me feeling greasy it's just like ah oh feels like a big drink for my skin. Then the moisturizer, which I'm actually almost out of, when my skin was just going haywire and I was like, what do I do here? <laughs> I went ahead and bought a bunch of dry skin products and I love this moisturizer. You guys recommended it. Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. It's a super thick and luxurious cream. I prefer to use this at night um, just because it is relatively thick. I use my Super Goop, um, moisturizing oil in the morning, like kind of as an all-in-one at the moment, but this is very nourishing. It totally helped to repair my dry skin barrier. Really, really good product if you're dry. For a hydrating mask, I love Caudalie. Their products, again, pricey but worth it. I have several of their masks, and this one was new to me since I was dry. This is the Venosource Hydra Moisturizing Mask. Nourishes and soothes your skin in 10 minutes. I, I put this on and it just drank it up. It felt like 
heaven. A couple makeup favorites. I have repurchased this now and this is my next bottle of it. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Not only do I love the primer, the eye and under eye primer from them, but this setting spray as well. It doesn't leave me dry, it doesn't leave me looking like super dewy and wet. It's just, it's the perfect middle ground. I have been using this non-stop. This is the Cream Bronzer from Anastasia. I used the shade Golden Tan. As you can see, there's like a pretty big dip in the middle and you don't use a lot at a time. I am wearing it today. I went to Ulta months ago and wanted to get the Chanel bronzer and she said they only sent one and someone bought it right away. So I'm like, why would they do that? But it led me to this because she recommended this and I love it. It is such a beautiful cream bronzer. It blends out stunningly. And then for my favorite cream blush right now, it's the Pixi On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick. And this is the shade called Juicy. I'm also wearing it today. But then on top of it, I like to put the Chanel Rose Bronze Blush. Like the combo of these two, oh, it's what I'm wearing today. So you can really see it. It's very glowy, very fresh. Um, and it stays on all day using a cream and then a powder on top. It's just magical. Okay, and my last favorite is controversial. I've heard so many mixed reviews on this, but I love it. I love it so much. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex perfume. Oh, I don't know why people are hating on this. I don't know. People were saying it was expensive. I'm like, do you know how much perfume is? This is no different than every other perfume, <laughs> you know? And I just love the scent of it. It's like very sweet meets musky, very my vibe. And people were like hating on the packaging, saying it looked cheap. I think it's like so beautiful. <laughs> But you know what? Everyone's got their own opinion and everyone is different and that is what makes life beautiful. So I personally love it. Uh, you know, if you like a sweet meets musky, kind of sexy, sultry smell, I would recommend. But that is it for my current favorites. I'm sure there are more that you guys have seen me talk about in vlogs, but I know this video is getting pretty long. So if you guys wanna see these more regularly, I was thinking of doing them like once a season maybe. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, shop everything down below, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.